How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. This week we're doing some Saab things. Um, we got a new exhaust slash muffler set up. Nothing extensive, no cat back or anything crazy, but we're heading over to Collins right now so we can weld these bad boys on. Um, and I'll go in a little bit more depth of what and why we're choosing the exhaust setup that we're going with. Without further ado, let's get into the intro and I'll explain more after. So, if you can't tell by the noise of the AC, it is extremely hot in Arizona right now. Uh, it's like 114-ish every day, which is awesome. Love summer. But, whipping the saw, we got the mufflers in the back. We're going with a two-tip kind of style, and I'll show you guys those when we get there. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a little while now, and after having the saw for about a month, I think it's time we start doing some nice mods to it. Uh, we're starting off with this exhaust. Uh, it's going to be custom on, because I could not find a affordable reliable exhaust that I wanted to run on this car. So I figured we're gonna do our own. Colin is a very good welder, and I hit him up and he said he's down to do it. So we're gonna link up with him at his shop, or his house, and we're gonna put him on. Um, without saying much, this car's gonna get a little bit more love in the next few weeks. Uh, next week we're doing paint correction, which will be its own video. Um, and then interior-wise, we still have to figure out the sound system, but the AC's still bumping nice and cold. And I'll catch you guys over there once we arrive at Colin's. How long has it been sitting? I mean, I started it today, but like, I oh. gotta adjust the starter because it's not shinned right. All right guys, so we just arrived. Uh, as you guys saw, the 280Z sounds insane. That car is beautiful. We shot that a long time ago, as you know. Um, but here is the mufflers. This is one of them. Pretty much straight with a slightly uh, slanted tip, polished, not too bad. Uh, we were just taking a look underneath the sob at what we kind of have to cut and do. And as you can see, there's a slight bend right there that's gonna have to, have to straighten that out and then add these hangers. So we might have to get some more pipe, but in theory, it should be semi-easy. Semi-easy, yeah. Semi-easy, but we'll see. Hopefully a couple hours. Hopefully a couple hours. So, give you an update when we get pipe or start cutting. Right here. Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> Alright guys, so update, we got the exhaust disconnected up there right behind the cat. We already got one end off, we're going to clean up obviously the pipe. We got to cut this one now. Um, what would you, how, how would you rate that? Probably like a 4 out of 5. Well, wasn't too bad. <laughs> no, like, it, like, it was bad, it was bad. It was sweaty and like, you know, uncomfortable, but honestly... It's just hot. It's just hot. And also, the, this is the first car I've ever done. The hangers came out... Hangers, easy. Easy. <laughs> like, they weren't stuck or anything. So, that's pretty good, but something concerning I found... We got slip-ons, which is not great. I don't mind slip-ons if they're done right, but these look a little sketch. At least they have hub bore adapter sleeves, but still possible cause of the wobble. So he's gonna cut this and uh... <laughs> yeah. All right guys, so we're back, it's day two. Power went out last night, but came back obviously last night when I was gone. And Colin fucking went ahead and did all this. So we have everything tacked up or he did everything. I'm not gonna take any credit for this. <laughs> but as you can see, we got some of the hangers here. He used one of the OEM off the stock muffler. Put it on right there using an OEM hanger. Similar situation on the other side. We're gonna take it out now and he's gonna take all this up and we'll put it back in. But it looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna give you guys a back shot here. It doesn't look too like, it's very understated, which I like, but it actually looks extremely good. It kind of reminds me of the Hirsch uh, exhaust kits and stuff. Finally, the arrow is going to mean something, so excited to hear the sounds. I think the fitment looks beautiful, and we're going to pull this off, and he's going to get to welding.
All right, car's back on the ground. As you can see, it looks just how we had it mocked up yesterday. It turned out absolutely perfect. Nice and subtle. So we're gonna get first start here. I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, we'll see how this bad boy sounds. Hopefully it's not too loud and hopefully it's not like weird and raspy, but we're gonna find out. So there you guys have it. The car got a new exhaust and it sounds pretty good. It's not too crazy. It's very tame. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Next week the car is going to get detailed so we'll have a full video on the paint correction and that process of it hopefully. Um, but without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. We have a bunch of cool stuff. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Uh, thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.